<laughs> Welcome everybody! We're not in our usual place, so we're in my usual place. This is Ori. Yay! Hello. One of the friends of the Yoga Hut. I'm Carolyn, and today we're going to be doing um, a workout that is going to work on the upper back, work on rounding so that dowagers hump this doesn't come to fight us later in age. We've got whatever weights you have in your house. If you only have a stretchy band, figure out how to use a stretchy band. You can step on one side, you can pull it that way, you step on it with both feet, you can do your bicep curls that way. We've got one light set of weights. These are sandbag weights, which are really nice, especially for people with arthritis. We've got one medium size weight and one heavy weight. And body weight. You will also need a chair or the back of a couch or a countertop. Um, I mean, you can use a wall if need be, but I am assuming most people have chairs in their houses. So, are we ready? Yes, yes. we are. <laughs> All right. So, the first thing we did today is we went for a one mile walk. If you have not been for your one mile walk yet today, do this portion, then go or pause here, go for a, at least a one mile walk, and then come back. So we've already finished that portion, and we're gonna go move right into our upper back work. So first thing we're gonna do is grab a light set of weights. There we go. You can, they have little handles on them, but you don't have to use them that way. We're gonna widen our stance, bend the knees slightly, tailbone points down at the ground, pull the belly button in, and then Roll the shoulders up and back a couple of times to get used to where we think the shoulder blades need to sit. Perfect. And then roll them back, leave them there. Take a nice big deep breath. And then bend the knees, take the tailbone, point it behind you. Knuckles drop forward. And then we're just going to do some little flies. We're going to pull the elbows up and out. So try to get your shoulder blades to kiss together. Oh, without Elizabeth, I don't know if I'm going to be able to count all by myself. However, I'm going to have to figure it out in the next couple of weeks. This is number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, ten. We're going to add two more for those that needed to catch up. That's one and two. Now take one weight, put it on top of your left thigh, turn your elbow backwards. You've got your thumb on the top of your weight, maybe even a soup can. That elbow is going to pull straight back. Belly button stays in. Here we go. Pull it back. One, like you're starting a lawnmower. Three, four, five. Now your collarbones need to stay high to protect that back. Number eight, number nine, Number 10, and then we're going to put that one down on the right thigh. Keep the bend in the legs if you can. If the knees, the back, or the hips start to complain, straighten it out and do the same thing. You don't want to bend forward through the mid-back, though, because otherwise all we're doing is exacerbating the round in the back. So the right hand lands. We take that thumb, we send it out, pull it back. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, pull it back and then put it on the thighs, roll it up and back. Take a really big deep breath into the collarbones and release. Okay, several stances here because we're going to move down into the legs. We're going to use our body weight. We're going to take our toes. We're going to step them out, what I call the cosmic John Wayne. Now, if this bothers knees and hips, keep toes forward. If that bothers knees and hips, step it in. If that bothers knees and hips, have a seat in your chair and pull the knees in toward the chest. Make sure that you're not rounding in toward the thighs if you're seated, though. Shoulder blades up and back. Cosmic John Wayne. These can go on the hips, they can go on the shoulders, and we're gonna take it down. We got 25 of these to do. They're so fun. Here we go. One, two, squeeze the buns. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
11, and 12, 13, 14, 15. I would like to take a moment as we continue to move and thank all of my elementary school teachers that taught me how to count. 21, <laughs> 22, 23, 24, last one, drop it in. Now when you pull it up, squeeze, squeeze those buns, make them smile, breathe it in and release. Toe heel in and then toe heel out. So people think, Caroline, you're crazy for doing this. Heel, toe, heel, toe, toe, heel, toe, heel. A couple more times. This is working on our adductors and our abductors and we pull them in and we take them out. Oh yeah. Last set, out and in. Wee! There we go. Fantastic. All right, turn your fingertips forward, get a set of bicep curls in, collarbone stay high, belly button pulls in, tailbone points at the floor, little bend in the knees, and roll them up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let them drop. Sweep them forward. Now roll the fingertips in toward the shoulders for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You're doing great. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Then roll it out, sweep it down. Now sweep it right back up. Sweep it all the way up as high as you can. Belly button draws in. Let it lower nice and slow. Sweep it down. There we go. Sweep it up nice and slow. Work through that shoulder. Working on that synovial fluid in the shoulder joint. Here goes number three. Sweep it. And down. Ah, sweep it up. So exciting. One more, sweep it up, bring it down. Very nice, one more set of bicep curls. This one, you're gonna come across to the opposite pec. So pectoralis major and minor, we're gonna bring the fingertips across and then let it set down. So it's gonna be a total of 20, you get 10 per arm. Right hand goes first, here we go. One, now left, and one two and two and that actually equals four here's number five number six number seven eight nine if you happen to hear a chicken laying an egg in the background just applaud <laughs> we're just happy they're making us some breakfast 13 14 15 16 17 18 as a 19 and last one yay shoulders roll up and back two more times roll them up and back one more time <sighs> all right here we go we're going to either choose one of these two weights both of these weights or if you've got a medium size weight available go the next weight up so Ori hasn't been practicing with us for the last couple of years, so she may do what a lot of newcomers are going to do. She's going to start really light if she chooses, and that way she can slowly, over the course of a couple of weeks, work the muscles into it without shocking the system. So if I work into a big weight and I'm not ready for it tomorrow, you're going to hate me. So if you err on the side of starting small and building up over time, the body's going to have so much more ease with building up into that. All right, so any size weight you so choose, your right foot's gonna go back, your left foot's gonna go forward, the left hand is gonna be on the back of the chair. We're gonna take those knuckles, we're gonna drop them forward, we're gonna let our collarbones be high, we're gonna pull our belly buttons in, and then we're gonna take that elbow out to the side. Now test it once or twice. You wanna make sure that when you pull and you release, nothing clicks, pops, or burns through these areas. Anything that isn't gonna work for you, 
modify. You might want to pull back. You might want to just sit and do a bicep curl with your collarbones lifted. So you make sure your body is happy in these spaces because we don't want to make any injuries. Like I always say, none of this is worth a copay, especially free online YouTube senior weightlifting classes. <laughs> All right, knuckles forward if you can. Pull it straight out to the side. Elbow comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Let it relax for just a moment. Turn your thumb forward, point toward the back of the chair like you have a jet pack in your hand now. Now we're going to start the lawnmower again. Pull that elbow straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Release that down. Step the right foot to meet the left. Turn the knuckles forward again, slide the arm over in front of the left quadricep, and then we're going to pull the elbow out to the side again. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, last one and then pull it into center to stand up. Ah. And if you want, you can let the hips do a little bit of a circle because I know that most of us wake up a little stiff. Ah. It's okay. We don't want to shock the system. We want to be shocking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So we got another arm to do and what we're working on. So when you pull, when you pull out to the side, we want to make sure the collarbones stay high because if I round and then pull, I'm just making the issue more of an issue. If I pull some muscle work into the center of my back, then I can get those collarbones and I can walk proud right into the golden years. Right? I know. Da da. <laughs> like I said, the jokes are still going to be bad. Okay. Right hand on the back of the chair, right hand, fo left, right foot forward. And then the knuckles are going to be forward on that left hand. And then we're going to pull straight out to the side for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, beautiful. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Turn the thumb forward. The elbow pulls straight back like you're starting a lawnmower. If you've never started a lawnmower, you're either really, really lucky or you live in a townhouse. One or the other. Here you go. Pull straight back. One, two, three, four, five six, four, three, two, last one. Now we're going to take that left foot, step it forward. I'm going to move over in the center. So if I've got a chair here, I'm going to take that set of knuckles. I'm going to put it in front of my right quad and then I'm going to pull out to the side, upper trapezius here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, four, three, two, one. Release, pull it in, stand it up. End to end we go. Step a little wider than hip distance. Press in on the outside of the bells or the soup cans or whatever you got. There you go. Sweet. So Ori switched up. Now she's got two hands. She's essentially got four pounds in each hand. So instead of going too big and having to go home. She's a smart one. She's, a, she's really smart. All right, we're gonna press our fingertips straight up toward the ceiling. Here we go. One, now here's the thing. Don't hit yourself in the chin. 
Don't take yourself out at the nose. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now push this one back up. We're going to drop right behind the back of the head for a tricep push. So we're going to push this straight up toward the ceiling. For those of you where this isn't going to be happy making for your shoulders, either continue to press up, do some bicep curls, or you do regulation tricep pushes. If that hurts the elbows, okay. Do what you got to do to make it work for you. So we're going to press it straight up. Drop it behind the head, and now press up. One, two, three. Smile while you do it, guys. It's all about blood chemistry. If I'm frowning while I'm working out, all I'm doing is, oh, like Bill said to me one time, eight, there's nine, and 10. Right, if we frown while we're working out, all we're doing is deepening the crow's feet. We don't need to do that. That, and it reverses our blood chemistry. Okie doke. Next thing you're gonna do, we're gonna go up and wait. So we're gonna do those same three exercises. You can either stick with that weight, go down a weight, or bum, 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 go up a weight. And it doesn't matter what's in my hand, it matters what's in your hand and your hand. So make it work for your body. Left foot forward, left hand on the back of the chair. The knuckles are forward. This one is really important. If you went up in weight, you need to make sure you do these really clean so that as you release the weight, you're not ka-chunk putting it down and putting unneeded stress on the back of that shoulder. All right, 10 of them or eight, or maybe five. It's up to you. Here we go, pull it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, smile, four, three, two, last one, oh yeah. Turn it forward, you got your jet pack thumb on, start the lawnmower, here we go. One, two. Now what we're trying to avoid is any twisting in the torso with this because yes, we do those exercises, but that's not what we're trying to do here. We got three, two, and one. Okay, step that right foot forward and you're gonna test this one time. If you picked up a heavier weight, test it and make sure that it works for you. You've got to be really solid through the core. This is almost more of a core exercise than it is a shoulder and trapezius exercise. All right, in front of the left quad or even in just in front of the crease of the legs, pull out to the side. One, two, starting to huff and puff. Three, four, five, six, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Into the center, pull it in, then stand it up. Step wide, give yourself some circles. <sighs> so even if you lightened up on the weight in that round, don't judge yourself. Do it your way, build the muscles your way, and other direction. I don't know what you've been through in this lifetime. You may have a shoulder injury that you're trying to protect. So know that if you've got one shoulder that's more compromised than another, pause. You may not want to do light weights with one and heavy weights with the other. Because what's going to happen is that's going to cause a corkscrewing in the body. Light weights on this side, and then I'm cranking down on this. Now my entire body is going to start building in that direction. If you've got a compromised body part on one side, and you're going to go light on that side, please go light on the other side. And I know it's, oh, it's a weakness. It's a weakness. It's not a weakness. It's a reality. So we go light on one side. We go light on the other. Otherwise, we're going to end up swinging to one side 
for the rest of our lives. Just lifting a weight that's heavier on one side can cause you to drag a leg on the other side. It can cause you to favor a hip. It can cause scoliosis to get even worse. So make sure you're using even weights from side to side. All right, right foot forward, left foot back, right hand forward. And yes, I stop between sets and talk for a reason. Gives the muscles time to relax, go into recovery mode, and then we start the other side. All right, we've got our weight in, we're happy. Knuckles are forward, elbow pulls out the side. Give it one test pull, make sure that it's okay. We don't wanna round through the spine and we don't wanna twist either. This is just for the back of the shoulder. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this side's already talking. Four, woo, three, two, last one. Yes, get that jetpack hand on, thumb faces forward, pull the elbow straight back, start the lawnmower. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Step it forward. We're going to bring that. I've got my hand on the back of the chair or on the countertop coming over in front of the opposite leg. We're going to pull out, test it one time, make sure nothing pops, clicks, or burns. If it does, switch to something else. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. My face is starting to twitch. Six, <laughs> third, oh, four, wait, and then three, and then two, I was trying to get out of it, and one, pull it into center, lift it up, end to end, step a little wide, bend in the knees, tailbone at the floor, belly button in, press it up overhead, avoid chin, teeth, nose, all of it. All right, press it up, one, nice, two, three, four, five, six, four, a three, a two, a one. All right, you're gonna pick your poison on the next one. So here's what I see a lot of people do with heavier triceps, their elbows go out. All right, so then we're into rotator cuff issues. The elbows have to stay in like they've got a rope tied between them. If this is too heavy, switch it out. If this is a compromise for your body, do something different. Knees bend, belly button in, press it straight up, drop it back or he's ready. Here we go, press it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm gonna squeak. Four, three, two, one, bring it down, put it down. All right, mandatory water break for all involved. Da 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 da. We're just gonna keep the camera rolling and I'm gonna do stupid things because, no, never mind. I'm gonna go find some water. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, so in your water break, I know you can still hear me. <laughs> because of Ori, we have a microphone which God knows nobody should ever give me, but that's okay. Yay! So Ori has helped us step this up. You'll notice that you can't hear any music, or at least all you can hear is a slight beat. The goal is for you to pick whatever you wanna to listen to. You wanna lift weights to Glenn Miller? God bless it, go forth, lift weights to Glenn Miller. You want Bob Marley? Perfect. Disco is an excellent source of beat work because it's consistent. Disco dance, not the, not the slow dance stuff, we don't want any of that. We want the stuff with a beat. But if the slow dance stuff is your favorite and it makes you happy, do your thing, because that's what you should do all the time. <laughs> Okie dokie. So maybe turn your music up a little bit higher. <sighs> When you're ready, come back in. We've got another set of those John Waynes to do. Toe tips out, heels in. But remember, 
that hurts the hips or knees, pull the toes in. That still compromises, pull in a little further. That still compromises, pull in a little further. If that doesn't work, have a seat, not on the weights, move the weights, have a seat, and then, or you can stand here and you can just pull this way. But at any time you feel like, ooh, you know, I'm feeling a little, woo, woo, sit down. Do the same weights that we're doing seated. Maybe you're dehydrated. Maybe, oh, there's a, a zillion different reasons. Make sure you're checking in. And as long as your doctor has told you, please exercise, here you go. You got some exercise. So just take care of yourself. We got knees out. We got sit down like a little chicken. Ruffle your feathers a little bit. There you go. And then we've got little tiny squats. We're gonna bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Yeah. So this is where we normally have our philosophical conversations and our quads shake and we have 25 more little bounces. If you need to change your stance, please do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, five, four, three, two, one, hold. <gasps> All right, now come up about three inches, like a legit three inches. Right, not the three feet that most people want to come up. Ah, feel that. Yep, that's a body in process of building muscle. Little tiny bounces. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Yes! So many of you need to step out at this point. Do the knee pulls into the chest. Those of you that have been with me for a long time and you know what your quads have got, we got another 25 of these to go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 25, four, three, two, one. Now drop that three inches. Now push up. Ooh, toes, heels, toes, heels. Woo! And then kick yourself for turning me on today. Yes, there you go. Ah. So since we don't have Al to heckle me right now, Ori should probably say something to the effect of, Caroline, I wish you'd go back to India. <laughs> Or Elizabeth would say, mercy Lord. Maybe Gerlinda would give us a baby Jesus. And none of that is derogatory. We push ourselves in these classes. And we've been together a really long time. So we're going to continue pushing ourselves right to the break. Awesome. All right. Three, two, one, and boss. All right. So. Tricep work is also upper back work because I can't do a tricep like this. I mean, I could, but I'm actually not even effectively going to get anything back here and then I'm going to let my guts hang out and then I'm actually going to pull on my lower back. So you're going to pick up a weight of choice. I'm going to go with a medium, Shh, medium, or you can go with whatever she would like. We're going to take that right foot back and left foot forward, left hand on the back of the chair. The elbow is going to pull up and back. Collarbones come forward. Now all of you know, what season is it? Ori doesn't know. It's paddling season. And you know that I paddle year round whenever I can. So stand up paddle boarding. We gotta have those upper back muscles really nice and taut, fit. Woo, gotta battle the waters. <laughs> so the elbow pulls up and back. We want to pull the shoulder blades together as best as we can. Belly button draws in and then extend straight back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, nice, four, three, two, one. Now act like you forgot your keys back there and just extend it back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it in, step it together. Yes, so good. All right, right foot forward, left foot back, right hand on the back of the chair. That elbow pulls up. Now remember, this isn't a torso twisting exercise. That elbow pulls straight back. Pinky side of the hand goes right through the wall behind you. Here you go. One, beautiful. Two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one, now you forgot your keys back there, so you gotta go and look for them. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in into the chest and, and press it up. We got 10 of these, drop it behind the head, belly button rolls in, knees are nice and soft. Here we go. Press it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Now drop it behind the head as long as your shoulders are safe. We're going to press it up for a count of 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, pull it down in front of the chest, widen the stance of the feet, back away from the chair a little, drop it down in between. Now you're gonna pull this into the xiphoid process. Your ribs come together. There's a little notch down in here called your xiphoid process. You're gonna pull this right up into that xiphoid process, shoulder blades back in together, a bit like a chicken again. Drop them down, now pull them up. Here we go, one, two, three, smile, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now pull it up and in. Breathe and let it go. drop for ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it in. Roll it up. Very nice. All right. We're going to go one step heavier or not, <laughs> up to you. Now, this is a 15. I would normally do this with a 12 with my triceps. I don't have one. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, I went to Models yesterday and they're going out of business in this particular location. All of their hand weights were gone. So I'm gonna pretend this is a 12. I know I can handle a 15. We're good, but normally I would lighten up just a little bit just to protect the elbow joint. So if Ori needs to stay with the weight that she had, please do, or lighten up. Yep, left foot forward, left hand forward, right foot back, pull the elbow up, collarbones high, extend up and back. Here we go. One, beautiful, two, three, four. Yes, lay that egg, chicken, five, Six, four, three, two, one. Oh, so nice. We're not going to extend a heavy weight back and hold it back there. So we're just going to pull it down and in, up into the center, switch feet, extend the left leg back, right hand forward, right foot forward, pull that elbow up and back, square off with the front of the room, extend that pinky side back. Here we go. One, two, three, trying to make the back of that arm smile. Five, six, four, three, two, one. Bring it into center, step it in, end to end we go. We're gonna soften the knees, press that weight up, drop it behind the head, we got 10 of these and then a 10 count lift. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
four, three, two, one. Now drop it back there. We got a 10 count lift. You're going to watch me turn red. We're going to breathe through it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it down and in. Beautifully done. Put that bad boy down. Grab yourself some water. You got about two minutes. Woo! So we've been talking in our household and we live near the water and one of my favorite birds is the osprey and every fall they mysteriously just kind of vanish in waves and every spring they mysteriously reappear in waves and we were we've been talking I'm like when are they coming back it's been warm this winter when are they coming back so in our one mile walk we were, I heard this noise and I was like, oh, oh, there was a bald eagle swooping off and away. Sweet. We round the corner, come on around. Osprey overhead. For us, that is just equinox or no equinox. When the ospreys show back up in Maryland, yep, there's your spring. It's here and it's lovely. All right. as I pour water all over myself. Okie dokie. We've got about eight minutes left. We're going to go into the legs and then everybody's favorite. We're going to go into our core work. All right. So legs first, make sure that you're not so close to a wall. I'm actually going to take this chair. I'm going to move it forward about six inches. These you're going to nice, strong spine. You're going to lift and pulse. If you want to do it without the security of the chair, you just pulse. The more you lean in, the more of a balance it becomes. And yeah, in a lot of these videos, we're going to be doing a lot of balance work. But safety wise, hands go on the back of the chair. Right leg lifts up behind. Notice the lean to one side or the other, like you're on a roller coaster. You want to look down and make sure you have equal bend in the elbows. Otherwise, you're trying to throw this leg lift into back muscles on the opposite side. That corkscrew, we don't want to create the corkscrew. So shoulders, pelvis as square with the chair as you can. Lift for 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a little higher, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, pull the knee into the back of the chair and just let it think about it. Now what I've seen, and God, we are all so brilliant, people take their kneecap and rest it, no, no. We're just holding three, two, one, put it down, plant it. The other leg comes and lifts. Oh yeah. Here we go. Square with the chair, 10 little lifts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one, 10 more higher. One, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now knee goes into the back of the chair. This is for transverse abdominis. Down here, hip to hip, just below the belly button. Woo! Three, two, one. Put it down. All right. Fire hydrants. Okay. Knee and hip issues. Check in. Okay, we're going to plant the left, bend the right. It's going to come straight out from the hip. We call them fire hydrants <laughs> for a reason. I think Ori's scared that I might fire hydrant. <laughs> okay, we got 10 lifts out to the side. Here we go. One, two, three, 
four. Now, if your hips are screaming at you, that's one thing. You might have muscles that need strengthening, but if it's pain, please don't do these. Last one. Oh yeah, very nice. Other side. Left comes out. Those elbows have equal bend or equal stiffness. Here we go. Take it out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Now put those down. Now what I call the Betty Boop. Boop, boop, be doop. I bet y'all are jealous of my suspenders. <laughs> so I got tired of my athletic pants creeping down over time. So, oh, who was it? Somebody said you ought to get suspenders. So I did. And now my athletic pants don't creep down. <laughs> All right, last thing we're gonna do now that we've done the Betty Boop, feet right under hips. Take your right toes, turn them out a bit like Charlie Chaplin. And then here are two options. Lift straight out. This is gonna pull all into these obliques and into these, this abdominal wall, or up and out a bit like one of those little Christmas puppet things, the little, this feet-ish, little ornament you put on the tree and the little legs flop out when you pull the string. That's what we're going for. All right, so straight leg or bent leg, which one do you wanna do? She's gonna do bent, I'll do straight. We got 10 of them, here we go. One, two, make sure that belly wall's turning on. We'll call that five, where's Elizabeth? Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, put it down. And you guys know, modify, modify, modify. Left toes turn out, she's gonna go bent, I'm gonna go straight. It's going to be good. Here we go. Lift it up. One. Belly wall turns on. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Put those feet down. Find the Betty Boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So you guys at home, you make this as much or as little as you want to. Y'all are gonna get tired of me saying that. But we like to push hard. Some days are not push days. Some days are ah kind of days. Y'all know those days. Ah, some of us have a lot of those days. So some of us have to push harder to try to get through the wall. We're gonna pull our chairs back ever so slightly so that y'all can see us better. And we're gonna put our weights on the floor. And then we're gonna get into our abs. Everybody's favorite part. So I want you to watch Ori's face because this is gonna be the best part of her day. I'm gonna pull my pants up and get serious. <laughs> All right, so make sure that you have a nice sturdy chair. Don't pick the one with the weird leg. Sturdy chair. <laughs> Tush right at the edge of the chair. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Cactus arms, happy cactus arms, okay? Happy cactus arms are gonna help us lift through the torso, plant the left foot, right knee rises into the chest 10 times. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, all four, all three, two, one, now lift and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, and arms come down. Little circles. Are you watching her face? Just, just watch, just watch. <laughs> oh, the direction when you're ready, yes. All right, so I'm gonna give my usual speech. These hip flexor muscles, your psoas, also connects to your low spine. When you're lifting, if you feel an aching, know that it's one of two things. It's either pain or it's tension from that muscle pulling on your spine if you're not used to this kind of thing. So that's why we come up and we do circles. If the pain stops when you do circles, oh, it's just muscle tension. 
Sweet. Arms up. Buttercup. There we go. Right foot plants. Left knee pulls up and in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Four, a three, a two, a one. Now lift and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. Little circles. There we go. So when we were walking today, my low back set off. Like all the muscles decided to come in other direction and just grab on. Well, I haven't been exercising a ton in the last couple of days. I've been putting out fires like a lot of people have, you know, doing emails and sending, you know, making phone calls and chasing my child and doing all these things. So my regular exercise routine has, has, has been interrupted. So just walking today, my low back was like, hey. So just know for, I'm going to try to get as many of these videos out. Ori's, ta-da, our magical assistant. And we're going to try to make sure that everybody can stay as active as possible so that you don't end up like me this morning with your back going just from a one mile walk. Ready for the next set? I know you are. Modify if you're not used to these. Hands on the chair. These are Al's favorite. Shoulder blades back and together. Both knees come into the chest. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five. Now you can always do this in singles. You could pull one leg at a time. That's nine and ten. Now lift and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. Lean the collarbones back. <sighs> Give that upper back a little chance to breathe. Take the fingertips. Put them right behind the head. Oh, feels good. All right, so the knees are going to lift and we're going to pull the knees one at a time right into the chest. So pull, pull, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. And that's why we have the strongest seniors in Anne Arundel County. Now, if you've shared this video with other people, yay! We want seniors all over the world to be fit. You send this to Italy, marvelous. Send it to China, marvelous. We want to be active as long as we can because, dear Lord, we live in a long time. One more set. I know. Aren't they special? Yes, this is about when they start gritting their teeth and sending daggers my way. All right, right leg comes out, nice and straight. Uh-huh, there we go. So you can hold onto the chair for safety if you want to. Otherwise, like you're gonna dive into a pool by your toe, the hands come out, and then we're gonna lift and then attempt to touch your toe. Most people want, I also happen to be a yoga instructor, so I probably can, but I don't know about it today. Let's see, here we go. One, two, three. So if yours looks like this, four, beautiful. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, yes! Oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger would be proud. <laughs> Feet plant. Other side. So this is acceptable. This is acceptable. Anything that looks kind of like this is acceptable. Even just watching us. Watch Ori's face. Here we go. One, two, a three, four, five, a six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Sit it up. Elbows on the thighs. Let that low back stretch out. And then shift and shift and shift and shift. All right. 
So I did a lot of talking in this particular video, explaining things mostly just knowing that we're gonna have a lot of new people as you guys share these videos, because there are a lot of people that are kind of stuck at home. The biggest thing is we're working on this because science says when I exercise, I feel better. It may not be the most awesome thing at the time, but it reverses body chemistry. So if I'm sitting around watching the news right now, my body chemistry is piling up behind all of the drama. If I get up and exercise and I let my brain do something else, then I can work on making a more mellow body chemistry so that I don't have a stress response in my body 24 hours a day. All right. Take one hand, put it on, I'm gonna use my left hand. Right hand's gonna reach down, try to touch somewhere near the floor. Now, if you've got a weight here, you can actually put your hand on the end of a weight. If you can't reach the floor, don't put all your weight on it. You can put your hand on top of your foot, but you wanna let your head hang heavy. So Ori's gonna let her head hang heavy. I don't wanna talk and let my head hang heavy. And she's just letting the traction from the weight of her head pull a little bit on the cervical spine. Beautiful. Breathe it in, breathe it out, roll it up. That elbow or that hand goes to that thigh, either one, then we reach down either to the back of a weight, top of a nice sturdy water bottle, a pillow, the top of the foot, or if that doesn't work, go back to wobbling. All right. Let that head be as heavy as it can. Lord knows it's full of all kinds of wondrous things. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Roll it up, hand to thigh. Pull that body up and the thing that we always end with, heel toe those feet together, right ankle, left thigh. Now, for those that are new, it might look like this. It might look like this. I don't know where these body parts have been in your lifetime. So if it takes a little extra assistance, beautiful. Don't judge it. It's been used well. Awesome. Now, fix your face. Lean in. <laughs> this, is, this is when the really not so nice thoughts hit. <laughs> So if you can reach all the way in and relax like a cheetah over the limb of a tree, beautiful. If this is you, one thing you wanna make sure is at least let me lengthen my spine a little bit. And then over time, I can work on that hip. It just takes time. And the more we do squats and walks and those kinds of things, um, Yes, the muscle work is going to shorten the muscles, but then we're gonna walk, we're gonna stretch, we're gonna do yoga, and those muscles will find that length again. Take a breath in, exhale, put that leg down. Last side, however it gets there. Ooh! Was that your idea? Oh, there's a piranha, a piranha in my hip. Ooh. Okay, lean in. So case in point, I have one leg that's longer than the other. My longer leg, that hip, is a little funky sometimes, and it's telling me so. So the stretching out process afterwards really tells me where the balance and imbalance is in my body. So, huh. I got a little funk in my junk over here. I know I need to work on that. I don't judge it. It just is what it is, and it served me well in this lifetime. One more breath. Ah, roll it up. I feel like Ori and I need like a secret handshake where we're like, yay! All right. I love you guys. Thank you for participating. Share videos, share the link. Not because we're gonna be famous anytime soon. We're trying to fight the cabin fever. Keep everybody with the fitness level that they've got and potentially grow from there. I love you. 
and I love you. See ya.